I'd like to welcome you to my new best friend, the Luba 2. And this enables me to do this, this, a bit of that, some of this, a bit of that, and some of the other. Instead of having to do this. And I think it looks like a miniature Lamborghini of the future. The only way to cut the grass. <laughs> it comes well packed. That must be the radar, the sensor unit, the front bumper, charging unit, manual, and there'll be the sticks for this. Fancy wheels with side rollers on. That'll be good to stop churning up the grass. Decent wheels on the back with almost snow treads on. Front suspension. That must be the garage. And these are all the bits that come in the box. Beneath, we have these razor blades that spin around as the two discs spin to get you cut. And you can buy spare ones, that's a pack of the spare ones. But I reckon you can grind those up, touch those up on a grinder or even just with a file. So it's going to give you a good sharp cut. So the bumper has got a sensor in it, one clip, and it pushes in there and locks in place. Comes with a screwdriver, then you undo that panel, and then you fit the eyes on top. Two connectors under there and two connectors on the eye sensor. A couple of screws to put in there, and there's a sticker here to tell you how to fasten this on and to screw the front bumper on. Charging brick with a waterproof connector on, three pin UK plug, small charging brick, Waterproof connector, UK plug. This spike to go in the ground for the radar detector. The pole for the detector. And I think we're about ready to get it outside. Let's get it charged up first though. But very easy to set up. I've put it into its charging case. There's a lead out the charging case, which is three pin, which fits into this big charging brick. And I'm just making sure the battery is fully charged. The small charger that comes with it is for the antenna and that fits into this one here. I haven't used the instructions and it was very easy to put together. This sticker on the front helped, but no need to look at the instructions. It's very self-explanatory and it's very well made. I'm impressed of the quality of it. I'm also impressed that it's not over heavy. I was expecting this to be an absolute pain to set up, but it's not. You get this in two pieces, and in the bottom of this, there's some holes, and you get some of these. They're like temp pegs that you screw in. So you find a flat area, and you put these pegs in each corner to peg it down to make it secure for when this goes in, it doesn't slide. You get two mains chargers. But if you have the antennae next to the charging unit, you only need to use one. This has a waterproof connector, fits into the back of this, and then there's a link to the antenna. But if you have the antenna separately, on the side of a house or something, it comes with its own power supply. This is the GPS receiver, and it comes with a head unit, a cable, and two pieces, and then this spike on the bottom. And this spike fits into a little hole on the side of the base unit. If you're using it next to the base unit and that just pushes in like that and then this cable fits into the other cable for the one power supply to run both units. Then to charge, start your charging, you push this in here for the first time and it'll start charging the unit. There's a green light on here, it'll go from blue to green flashing until it's picked up all the satellites and there's a green light on here to say it's got power and that's it set up that's all you have to do everything on this runs off the app so you log into the app and you log into the actual units you've got so i've got that grass cutter the uber 2 and i've also got the antennae so just reconnect those. This is all through Bluetooth, so you don't need an internet signal to do this. But once you first set up, there might be a software update you need to do for both units. So they're both connected now and you're ready to go. So this is the main app. And on here, 
you'll hopefully you can see it on this camera there's a little area and you can start to map out your area so using this as a remote control you can go to the map start mapping it gives you a little instruction on there to show you go around the parameter and that's the simplest map you can do so you basically go around the edge of the area you want to cut and it will cut within that area and you literally just drive this or you have to remove it from the docking station to start with and that will actually take it out automatically by itself as you can see on here it's moving and over there it's come out the docking station itself ready to go and then literally you drive the drone the drone the grass cutter it's very much like a drone by able to turn it backwards and forwards and side by side around the area you want and that creates a map for the drone to follow for the I keep calling it a drone for the grass cutter to follow automatically so as you start to map it it lays out the lines on an actual map of where you want it to go and you can have it anywhere you can drive around plants anywhere you want it to go and you just create your pattern how you want it to be it's an interesting one <laughs> the best way to map an area is just literally walk around with the unit task area map then when your area is completed it will give you a little map of what you've done so you can pick any shape and then you just select which sort of cutting pattern you want and set it off to do the mowing so you can input lots of different areas so you can have a long list of them and you can as you on this it's got settings so that you can set it to follow a path between gardens so if you had a garden here and then a garden path to another garden you can actually set it to do that as well so here you can pick all the grass cutting patterns so we can have zigzags straight lines and we'll just have that one the cutting height down to 30 the speed of the mower and then off it goes start working talks to you as well and there it is doing its thing it'll follow around the area to first suss out where it needs to be the boundary and then it will literally fill the gap in and cut in that area that you've selected and it does have all those sensors on the front has cameras on it and it has a bumper sensor so if it runs into anything it knows where it is so it's just literally going backwards and forwards on that pattern we've set it to cut and putting the pattern into the grass in that defined area and if something gets in its way Drive around it. But when it drives around it, it knows it needs to stay in its defined area. So all the sensors are going off now because how many it's were. But it won't go out the area. It'll just keep moving until the area is clear. And that little thing on the top is cameras. So you can log into it and if it's linked to the internet, you can put a SIM card in back of this. Or if you're close to it, you can do it by Bluetooth. There's no signal around here, so I can't do that. But the cameras on the actual top transmit through the internet or Bluetooth to your telephone, and you can see what the grass is actually doing. You probably see what I mean now, that I can go out and play and just do the grass cutting automatically. So on the map, you can see the area I've told it to cut and where it's up to, and if you zoom in, you can actually see where it's up to, to the pattern in as well. But you can pause it. It'll tell you it stopped. You can switch the voice off if you wish. And then you can tell it to go back to its charging unit. So it's, I've switched it off from doing its work. It's telling me how much area it's cut. It also, when you're setting it up, it tells you how much area you are cutting as well. And then I can just press one button. And it will work itself out and send itself back to the actual charging unit and off it goes back to recharge itself in its docking station start charging working paused i don't know if you can tell
tell on the video, but that is a hill. That probably gives a better perspective and it's doing that no problem whatsoever. And look how neat it's cut in the grass. It's very quiet as well. Quieter than I expect. Look how he's done the grass. That is so, so impressive. Particularly when you've got an area like this to cut. Of course with the Bluetooth remote control, if you want to stop it cutting, you can stop it just by pressing pause. Um, you can change it to another map to cut another area. You can change its speed, you can change its cut height on the app. And you can just press a button and send it to its docking station to charge up or go to sleep until you need it again. It's super quiet and you could easily have this running in a night. So if you wanted to, uh, didn't want to disrupt your day by having this going across there, you could actually run it on a night. It doesn't need any lights and it doesn't use its cameras for visual. Its sensors are like parking sensors so they work in the dark. And, of course, it's got the bumper protection on the front, so if anything bumps into the front of it, it'll stop automatically. So you can use it in the dark. It is four-wheel drive, and there's no evidence at all from the days I've been using it of it damaging the grass. With those rollers on the front wheels, it goes around sideways really well. There are different models, and the different models are not related to the size of the battery, but for the different areas you want to cut so if you've got a bigger area or lots of different areas and you want to create lots of different maps that's a different model if you check the website below there'll be all the information about that hopefully you can see that it's cut one way and i cut it the other way the other day and it leaves some brilliant lines in you in your lawn so as well as being automatic it actually makes your lawn look good as well particularly useful when you've got a big area like this to cut. This is our dog field where we run the dog. It belongs to a friend of ours and they'll let us run the dog in here. So I think we'll be keeping this more <laughs> and it's going to be cutting this grass. We come to the end of the season now but next year it's going to get a lot of use. It just makes life so easy. It saves having to get the sit on mower out and it can be done any time. You don't actually have, have to be here which is the best bit about it. If you wanted to, you can just drive it round and cut manually. So if there was an area that it missed or it was difficult to plan, you can just drive it with a remote control like a drone. With the blades cutting, and it will cut that area like a remote control one, not using its automatic settings. It has run over a few little twigs and things, that hasn't particularly had a problem with it, but if it does find something that it's reducing the blade spinning underneath, it will stop, reposition itself and move around the obstacle. So if you've got a molehill or something, or it finds a dog's toy or something, it will sense it and stop and move around that area. I've seen some other videos on YouTube that say sometimes it gets a bit confused and gets stuck under branches and things. But since I've been using this for about three days now I've been playing with this, and I've not had a problem whatsoever, it's been absolutely faultless. Look how good that is. I like it because it's totally automatic, it's so simple to use and set up. It's well built and it makes the grass look really good as well. And of course you don't have to be there, I know I keep mentioning that but when you get a nice day, particularly if you live in the UK, you don't want to be cutting the grass every day do you? And in summer we need to cut the grass about twice a week. I don't have to bother it now, once this is set up, just press the button and off it goes. It does have alarms on it as well. So if, people, robot tilted. <laughs> so if people pick it up, you know what's happening. And if it's taken away, it locks itself out and it can only be used by the remote control and the app it's linked to. So it's got some safety devices on that as well. These two sensors on here are rain detectors. So if it starts raining halfway through your cutting your grass, it'll identify it's raining. It'll take itself back to its docking station Wait till it stops raining, or you can reprogram it to do it on another day. The 
timer and the app and everything on there. You can set it to do it on set days at set times. It really is an excellent piece of comprehensive kit. I'm super impressed of it and it's great fun. It also looks good, doesn't it? Looks like it's doing 90 mile an hour, so that's still. It's my new best friend does all the work. I think I'm going to get the motorbike out and pop to the pub for a well end pound. It can be very thirsty work, it's particularly in this hot weather cutting your grass. So I'll let my new mate do all the work and I'll just say thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Obviously in the description there'll be links to the website, any discount codes or anything, but do check out other YouTube channels that have reviewed these. There's some real technical information which I found helpful as well. But thanks again and we'll see you on the next one. You carry on with the work mate. I'll see you later.